Okay, so we're going to start with a quick and easy fortified deer block. Uh, this is just something fun you can do at home and uh, it should be pretty cheap. Uh, I just got cane syrup, cornmeal, quick oats, brown sugar, and some vegetable oil, and that's basically the only ingredients that you'll need. I've got one cup molasses, one cup brown sugar, one half cup of vegetable oil, or whatever kind of oil you have around the house, uh, cooking oil I should say. Quick oats, I have two cups of quick oats, two cups of cornmeal, and keep in mind this is a fortified deer block. Any kind of grain that you have, uh, you could substitute cornmeal for actual corn, oatmeal for soybeans, whatever. Um, basically, I've just got four cups of different kinds of grains, two cups oatmeal, two cups cornmeal. But the, uh, the one cup molasses, one cup brown sugar, and one half cup vegetable oil uh, should stay the same. Okay, once you have the ingredients in front of you, first you want to mix up the molasses. Try and get as much of that in there as you can. Then I want to put the brown sugar in there. And the vegetable oil. And I'm just doing this all together just because this kind of mixes a little bit easier um, together. And once I have this nice and mixed up, then I'll uh, throw the grain in there. So then I put the uh, quick oats in there. I'm trying my best to mix that a little bit. It gets pretty messy but you might want to do this with your hands too but I'm just doing it with a wooden spoon just so I don't get this all over my hands at least right now. Okay put in the cornmeal. We've tried this with different things. Uh, I've tried putting the oats in a coffee grinder, coffee bean grinder, making it more of a fine powder, and that works pretty good, uh, but it's not necessary. We've tried roasted soybean, putting that in there. Even tried uh, putting uh, some regular deer corn in there. Uh, we've Try to crush it up a little bit before we put it in there just so it would, wouldn't or so it would stick better. So I'm going to mix all this together and we're going to put it in the pan. going to want to preheat the oven to about 325 or 350 even, uh, something around there. I, I'm going to do 350. Um, wait for that to heat up. We got the first pan of filled in a little bit more than halfway and we of course put some cooking spray in the bottom of the pan so it kind of helped keep it from sticking and uh, we're just gonna fill up the second pan now. Okay we've let these sit in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes and now I've taken them out and I'm just gonna kind of stir it up a little bit and um, get it real just kind of even because I think on the sides and stuff sometimes it kind of burns and stuff so you just want to kind of move it around a little bit and mix it up a little bit and then we'll stick it back in the oven for another 15 minutes actually before it's done. Okay we've got Keep these them. taken out now for the the final time so that's two times in the oven for about 15 minutes each time at 325 to 350 somewhere around that temperature. I stirred it up again and I've got my uh, plastic mold container nice and uh, oiled up with some, some cooking spray uh, so it won't stick. And we're going to let this cool off for about, I'm going to stir it a little bit and then we're going to let it cool off for about 5 to 10 minutes and, and um, then I'm still going to 
use my gloves to pick this up and and just kind of rake it into into my my mold okay so now i'm just taking a big spoon and after it's cooled down a little bit and i'm just gonna keep putting it in the mold and as you put it in there you're gonna want to press it down because you're gonna get this as much in there as you can and you want it to stick together and create a hard block so uh, the more that tight that you press it down in there I'm gonna get a cup or something as well and, and, and press it in there about every couple of inches that I fill up I'm gonna press it down again and, and get it really really uh, dense as possible you don't let any space in between that you can that you can see and that way it'll make one big hard block all right you can see we've got it all in there we've pressed it down real real tight it doesn't make as much as you think once you press it all down in there but we want it to be as solid of a block as possible so we've got that in there we'll let it cool and i'll wait till the morning just to take it out and see see what it looks like all right, looks like our fortified feed block came out real nicely when we took it out of the mold this morning. And uh, I drilled a hole in that one. I made another one too, I drilled a hole in that one. And what we're gonna do is just put these about four feet off the ground and just nail it into a tree. That way raccoons and stuff don't run off with it. But, um, which by the way, raccoons will really really uh, come after this so if you have raccoon problems in your area then uh, just kind of get ready for that all right we nailed this to the tree about four foot off the ground you can see uh, actually looks really nice on there and and the deer I just have since I have two of them I put them not on the same side so that way two deer you know that come in maybe at one time can can eat on that um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this off by just putting a little bit of molasses just directly on it. And uh, because the molasses smells will carry a lot further. And so just help the deer to find it. And uh, they should definitely be in here this evening checking this okay, out okay so that is how you do the fortified feed block and uh, this one came out real nicely we'll see what comes in this evening and, and tomorrow and uh, if we get some good uh, pictures on the uh, the stealth cam then we'll we'll post those but just um, you know this this recipe can always be approved upon so we really rely uh, on the bootleg outdoors website for people to come in and 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 try out different things with with this maybe they add apples or soybeans or they cook it at a different temperature whatever it is um, this is is really the basic version of this I know it can be a lot better so I look forward to see what you know what other people come up with and and uh, see some pictures and and uh, even videos of, of what y'all come up with Thank you for watching.